I don't think there's any question that uh, there's certainly no suggestion I've seen that it was well, uh, the president going out. Representative Adam uh, Heave, he just uh, did something actually important. To me, it's very important. To me, it's critical for the survival of uh, the United States of America. And it is so simple. It is very simple. He named it <laughs> the country, the United States of America. Yes, it is that simple. If we start calling ourselves what we are, United States of America nationals, and that we belong in the American continent. And this continent is like no other. It's called the New World, where everybody, there was a no one in Europe, came here for a dream. A dream name. Whatever you got in your head. <laughs> and these people created the United States of America. It was not the English. It was not it was not the German. It was no other than the Spaniards and the French. Yes, they did create the United States of America. Well, Mr. Adam, Representative uh, uh, Mr. Adam Chief, called on CNN our country, the United States of America. Today, I was at a gun show, and you can see the effect of no calling ourselves what we are. Uh, our identity is being removed. Uh, I was speaking to a fellow named uh, Sheriff Joe Alpedo or Arpaido. Uh, uh, he looks to me like a great man, uh, you know, very gentle man, and uh, completely conditioned. This man is completely conditioned. He said to me that uh, he was a uh, Italian as a nationality. And not only that, his people around him did the same. Uh, not only he called himself uh, Italian, but I asked him, what race are you? And he did not want to answer. He said something that I couldn't understand. But he did say something very, very incredible to me. I got some white in me. <laughs> Holy crap. And this is a convicted felon. A gentleman that was a sheriff of Maricopa County, a convicted fellow by his peers, and uh, uh, saved by President Donald Trump not too long ago. And now he's making money, writing a book about uh, how he throw in jail uh, 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 Mr. Uh, musician Elvis Presley and all these crazy things. And that is what is happening. We, they need help. These people need help, our help, the help of the United States of America. We need to, we need to go to the FCC, the Federal Commission, and demand that the United States of America be protected. We cannot run, in, run around and allow the BBC London dictate who we are. We cannot allow uh, uh, all these people, they run CVS and NBC and all these letters, uh, information technologies, they, all of them have residences in England and other European nations to dictate our identity. We are not a product. We are a country. And I think, uh, to me, my opinion, the FCC is the most important uh, organization or institution that the federal government has. To me, there is two of them that are vital to our identity. The FCC and that... Uh, uh, I cannot even remember the name of this federal agency, but it's one of the smallest federal agency in the United States of America. And their job is to maintain our monuments and their job is to maintain our uh, cemeteries overseas, the American cemeteries on, 
on, on European soils and in the Philippines and Cuba and, and, and around the world. To me, that is what we need to promote. We need to promote who we really are. Yes, we are Americans. We are part of an American continent that is being destroyed. The continent, continent, continent is being destroyed. It's being separated and broke apart. And, be, and they are being keep behind for no reason other than to keep the Europeans safe. That's all. Because they know that if we, we become a United States of America, like intended, by Mr. George Washington and all those who wrote the Declaration of Independence and the intentions of uh, Esteban Rodriguez Miro and the intentions of uh, Ocerra and, 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 and Bernardo and Cabeza de Vaca and Charles and everyone was to create one continuous United States of America. And today we have places like Puerto Rico, American Samoa, Midway, and all these other islands, the Chamarros, apart from us, apart from being a United States of American national. We need to change that. We need to give these people power. We need to give these people the right to exist, the right to be what they are right now. United States of American Nationals. So we need to create the 51st State of the Union. And we need to teach Mr. Sheriff Joe Alpado. And we need to teach Mr. Donald Trump. And we need to teach Mr. Joe Biden the Kamala Harris. She is not an Indian. She is no black any color, she's not from Africa, she's not from no place other than the United States of America. That is her nationality. Her nationality is no Hindu, it's no black, it's no Haitian. No, we need to teach all these people that we are who we are. And we can lead the world like never before. We can look at the future of the universe find places where we have never been before like mr columbus that is the reason the united states of america capital is named after christopher columbus the district of columbia well saludos and uh, good luck to mr uh sheriff joe alpaido i hope you know, he buy, he sells many books. I think you guys ought to buy some of his book. I did not purchase any. <laughs> but I am who I am. Saludos.